Secret spy balloons? China? What the heck is going on? I'm Manuel, and this is another Griffcast video about a breaking news event that seems to be taking the world by storm, or at least the United States, and it's these uh, supposed Chinese spy balloons that are popping up everywhere. People have been talking about them in multiple different locations. I've noticed a couple of different articles talking about it and how the Pentagon is now involved NASA in this debacle where people are spotting all kinds of really, really high altitude balloons everywhere and they think that they're coming out of China. Yeah, that's what seems to be going on. All I really know is that I keep seeing videos, lots and lots of videos right now. So, of these little balls in the sky. But something did. And it's not good. It's a light like a falling star from it. It kind of seems a bit strange, doesn't it? I've seen a couple of videos like this one from Vincent Turner. I've even seen stuff like this at about of one in Montana. Where they're calling it a Chinese spy balloon or something of that nature, which seems... Highly suspicious, if you ask me. Because it's almost like they got multiple of these things. That? One's the sun. One's, I guess, a balloon? Chinese spy balloon? People in charge of things around the world have different varying opinions about what's going on. Some guy even talked about the Pacific Command detecting high-altitude balloons, visually confirming what they are, and it's a little weird. Guys like Joe Biden, not really saying much about it. Asking him about the Chinese spy balloon, uh, no comment. President doesn't know what that is. Yep, when and how are you going to remove the balloon? Well, I uh, don't really have any information on that. We don't know. How about this one? Thank you, Pat. Uh, you said that this is uh, violating our airspace, so why not take it down? Yeah, take it down. Yeah, so, uh, you know, clearly as we assess options um, and considering the, the size of the payload on this. Why don't you take it down? Uh, looking at the potential for debris. Uh, and the impact on civilians on the ground or property damage. Oh, Again, really? Uh, running through the the various factors uh -huh. and looking at uh, in terms of does it pose he doesn't really seem to risk, know uh, to people while in the air. And right now, as I mentioned, we we assess that it does not pose a risk to people on the ground as it currently is traversing the continental United States. And so, out of an abundance of caution. Uh, cognizant of the potential impact to civilians on the ground uh, from a debris field. Uh, right now, we're going to continue to monitor and review options. And if I may, you mentioned that we've seen this kind of activity before. So why are we sharing this? Hmm. We're going to monitor and review options. We have assessed that it does not repose a risk to people on the ground, but we don't want to shoot it down because we don't want it posing a risk to people on the ground. Hmm. Kind of seems a bit strange, if you ask me. Doesn't seem to be exactly like it should be, if you ask me. Hmm. How about General Milley? What does he have for us? By the senseless and brutal killing of George Floyd. What we are seeing is the long shadow of our original sin in Jamestown 401 years ago. We are still struggling with racism. And we have mm. much work to do. Unspoken and unconscious bias have no place in America. And they have no place... Yeah, but what about the big balloon thing that everybody's freaking out about? What about that thing? I mean, it's even being reported now that one of them, the one that we saw over Montana, must have gotten blown up or taken out or something or other because there was a viral video coming out from Dolly Moore in Billings, Montana, that basically kind of shows what they were seeing. Something falling out of the sky or something breaking through the clouds as it were, but it doesn't seem to have any explosion associated to it. It wasn't like there was a huge sound that was coming out or anything. Nobody detected an explosion. And now this video seems to kind of be everywhere, I guess. Or this is now some sort of information that is showing that strange things are afoot.
And if we scrub through it, she does really get like a good j- portion of the actual smoke trail that's coming off of this thing. So whatever it was, I don't know. I guess it was a balloon. It just doesn't come down like a balloon that I've seen. It's almost like leaking or something. Because if it was a helium balloon, wouldn't all the helium just went up? I don't think it would have looked like that, but... I'm not a master of fluid dynamics, so what do I know? Somebody got another angle of the same thing in Montana, and it still looks to be very, very strange. I mean, it kind of seems like something was doing like a slow fall to the ground and leaving a really, really weird trail. But you can see there's the Starlink, and then... What's that? What's that? What is that? I don't know what that is, bro. I don't know what it is. Probably the best photography on this thing came out of T Schlitt Photography or Storm Chaser underscore TS on the Twitter. And I mean, it's pretty clear that it definitely looks like some kind of balloon or something. But this isn't actually the one that was in Montana. This is a completely different one that was spotted in, I believe, Washington, Missouri, which is a completely different area. If you know, now you know, somebody from inside paper actually blew it up so you could see it just a little bit better. And as you can see, definitely not a satellite of any kind and uh, kind of not exactly what I would be used to seeing from anything normal. I mean, it definitely looks like some kind of balloon or something. And it actually brought me back to a video that I had seen from NASA where they were actually talking about beeline to space the scientific balloon story from about two years ago where they were talking about their low cost near space access for suspended payloads up to 8,000 pounds and these balloons were used to conduct technological experiences and experiments yeah let's just take a look let's just take a look dynamic process where they'll release the bubble from the spool and it'll rise it'll rise as a fluid structure as it Uh rises above and elevates itself above the payload. And then the crew chiefs will direct the launch vehicle in a manner to uh, bring it right up under that elongated upside down teardrop. That actually looks- The 10 seconds at that moment. Pretty familiar. Kind of looks kind of like what's hanging below that other one. whole preparation for Although since you're really far down, the the perspective is probably skewed. That I like. Yeah. That actually does look pretty familiar. Making it work for everybody else. If it's a NASA aerostat, why would they say After though? Doesn't two that hours look almost exactly time. like that? Just balloon and payload arrive at the, at the ground, edge of space. See Anywhere thing. from 110 to 130,000 feet above Earth. Once in clear conditions, a balloon was spotted 260 miles away. 260 Science miles away. Science missions can range from two hours to 100 days. Two when hours science to goals 100 are days. The CSBF crew begins the process of terminating the flight. We typically file what we call a prior to descent notice with the FAA, kind of mm-hmm. let them know that we're thinking about terminating in about an hour. Thanks, Hugo. Uh, prior to a certain specified time. This is choreographed with NASA's safety analysis data that shows the crew where the balloon and payload can safely be brought back to Earth. When safety criteria is met, a telemetry command is sent, firing an explosive squib that separates parachute and balloon. It also triggers a tear in the balloon, releasing the helium gas. In 50 minutes to an hour, balloon and payload are safely back on the ground. So we recover both items because we don't want to leave a footprint of NASA having been there. We take everything that we drop in out. It's important from the science perspective Ah. also that they can uh, refurbish and refly the instrument many times. Refurbish and refly the instrument. So scientific balloons are being looked at more and more in technology development. We did the low density supersonic decelerator or LDSD testing up for the supersonic parachutes for Mars. I see in the future additional tests that could be done using the stratospheric balloon as a platform to either lift another vehicle, do drop tests. The possibilities are endless. Huh. Well, that seems a bit weird. 
That's a video from two years ago from NASA Wallops where they're literally talking about a balloon that looks exactly like what we're looking at there. I mean, maybe not exactly a dead ringer, but those definitely could look like some solar panels or something. And that looks like the little apparatus that they had hung under the balloon. So I guess the real question is, is that if it was a NASA balloon, how come NASA hasn't come out and said it is? But then again, the Pentagon is talking to NASA and they haven't shot anything down. So maybe they're just ours. I don't know. A sheriff on that video from that woman, she, he actually said, we made contact with the person who posted the video and we believe it to be legitimate. Just what the video shows is difficult to determine at the press release. There's no evidence that an aircraft went down or that there was an actual explosion. And there's been no other reports from anyone to law enforcement who may have observed the incident. will continue to investigate it as additional leads or informations are brought forward. And here's actually the lady that found the whole situation in the very beginning. Said, Let's just take a listen to her testimony. Contact, it's not that long. You know, contact your local, um, local news channel. And so I was like, okay. It seems like a really and nice woman. I'm not a big, not a big Twitter fan. Her Twitter fan. account and probably said, blew the hell just, up after this just thing right here. She's probably not getting saying notifications anything. like crazy. You know, that's and then just people talk about flat earth and all this other crazy crap. Video. Poor woman. Okay, you know. And so we the have internet a came for Twitter account. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just share the one video, you know, the one video I have. And I guess if somebody has any questions, you know. So she's like, yeah, you know, you should just contact, you know, the news channel and just yeah, say, hey, you this just is contact just what all happened. The, the journalists, anybody. all the journalists else, are going to be you hitting know, you up. Being like, we want to interview you for our ne like next news piece. Um, CNN, Fox News, um, Jesse Waters. <laughs> I, I, Jesse just Waters. So she likes Jesse Waters, you could tell. My son finally had to take my phone because, I don't know, and just... People are just saying, oh, she didn't take that video and, you know, just some other kind of really bizarre comments out there. That Internet just, trolls? Yeah. 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 So I guess overall, what are we supposed to say about this particular situation? Well, it seems that there's a bunch of Chinese spy satellites all over the place, but them Chinese spy satellites seem to look almost exactly like those aerostat balloons that NASA was using and putting out and has a YouTube channel for or, or whatever. So are we really dealing with the Chinese spy satellite situation or are we actually looking at a bunch of people misrepresenting some sort of NASA thing that's going on right now probably to study all the adverse weather that people are having right now in places with all the cold and stuff i mean i'm not a rocket scientist or anything like that but i feel like we could probably get a better answer by now by this one and seemingly how nobody said anything about this i figured i would put it in front of you and this has just been another video from griffcast so make sure you super chat send or share this hit the like button and subscribe and we'll see you guys again on the next one much love to you and we hope you have a wonderful day